so in this standard adoc we will take the example of customer master table and the transaction code is bd12 now we have logged in the client number 800 uh, so now create a data which you want to send the client number 1810 uh, in this example we will take the example of kna1 database table so execute the transaction xd01 for the adding the one customer data into kna1 so give the customer number Okay, so now give the company code. Now let us try to save. Okay, so specify the account group which I, we have missed. So specify the account group. Okay, now give the name of customers. So now we will give the name as client. Eight zero zero. Okay. Search item is suppose C eight zero zero. It is two two one. That is my favorite Sherlock Sherlock home. And country is suppose India for I am. And try to save for saving it. Click on that icon or press Ctrl S. So we haven't haven't uh, write their recancellation account number. So give it as one seven zero zero zero. And try to save it. So now we have successfully created one account. So close this prompt and it will automatically redirect to the home page. Now try to try to open SC16N. So we will uh, try to open the data we have just entered which is available in that table or not. So we will just check it. Give the customer number that we have entered 9328. And click on execute or press F8. Now we got the same information 9328 on the client number 800. Okay, 9328800. Okay, so now we will try to see the same data on the client number 810 and the another user. Okay, we will try to log in. Okay, client. 810 user is predefined password something login okay now same run the transaction sc 16 and give the table name as kn a1 enter and give the customer number 9328 and try to execute it press f8 now we will see how to send the data from client 800 to 810 so here the 800 client is outbound outbound client that is the sender and 810 client is the inbound client that is the receiver and these are the two different users from the same server okay for the first step is that now define logical system and assign logical system to client for that the transaction code is sale that is cell First log on the system with the client 800. It is 800. And give your username and password for the client 800. Okay, here is the home screen. Okay, so run the transaction SALE to sale expand basic settings click on the small arrow after that expand logical system 
click click on define logical system here is the execute button click on that button okay press enter now click on new entries here we will define who is sender and who is receiver suppose now sender is the client 800 so we will give the name as client 800 and the description will be sender and the receiver is client 810 and obviously this description is receiver just save it for saving purpose press control s or click on the save button press enter okay now we have defined sender and receiver now we will maintain the rfc destination transaction code sm59 that is which is destination we need to all the assign on destination for port and any the click on uh, select abap connections and click on new entries here the rfc destination rfc destination is our client 810 and to give the target host uh, here is the sap ids because we are working in the same server we don't need to give another uh, ip address or anything it will automatically fill ip address here it is we got the ip address automatically because we are we are working in the same server now fill up all credentials of receiver language english client is 810 and the rece receiver's username and password save it and try to remotely log in so click on remote log on so we will come to know that is this is credentials are right or not okay so this credentials are right everything is okay save it now third step maintain distribution model view for that the transaction code is bd64 run the transaction bd64 slash in bd64 here it is here are the all the entries so click on change mode for we want to add another entry so click on create model view short text is ad hoc for customer master Okay, and the technical name is the sender name. My typing speed is little bit slow. Sorry for that. Technical name is sender name. That is client eight zero zero. Enter. Now new entry is added at the bottom of the list. Select that entry and click on the add message tab. so sender is client 800 and the receiver is 8 client 810 and message type is dbms this message type is standard message type for the customer master this all information i have attached at the description of this video click on enter
ओके स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक इज देयर वी हैव मिस टी इन द क्लाइंट एट वन जीरो ओके नो फाइन एंटर ओके द न्यू एंट्री इज एडेड नो क्रिएट अ रिसीवर पोर्ट वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ रिसीवर पोर्ट यूजिंग द ट्रांजेक्शन डब्ल्यू ई ट्वेंटी वन ट्रांजेक्शन डब्ल्यू ई ट्वेंटी वन एंड सिलेक्ट द ट्रांजेक्शन आर एफ सी ट्रांजेक्शन आर एफ सी एंड क्लिक ऑन न्यू एंट्रीज क्लिक ऑन कंटिन्यू और एंटर द पोर्ट इज जनरेटेड to select it and copy it because we need need it again port for customer master description and rfc destination give it rfc destination as client 810 save it ओके सो पोर्ट इज क्रिएटेड डेटा वॉज सेव दैट मीन्स पोर्ट इज क्रिएटेड बी श्युअर दैट यू हैव कॉपीड पोर्ट नंबर ओके नाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड रिसीवर पोर्ट नाउ वी नीड टू मेंटेन आउट बाउंड पार्टनर प्रोफाइल फॉर दैट रन ट्रांजेक्शन डब्ल्यू ट्वेंटी हाँ ओके नाउ सिलेक्ट द लॉजिकल सिस्टम पार्टनर टाइप इज लॉजिकल सिस्टम क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट क्रिएट न्यू एंट्री ओके द पार्टनर नंबर इज क्लाइंट एट वन जीरो दैट वी हैव लॉजिकल सिस्टम डिफाइंड एट द फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ आवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड द पार्टनर टाइप इज एल एस एल एस फॉर लॉजिकल सिस्टम आफ्टर सेविंग इट द एडिंग आफ्टर सेविंग इट वील एनेबल द न्यू वील एनेबल द हाँ ओके आफ्टर सेविंग इट वील एनेबल द आईकॉन फॉर क्रिएटिंग न्यू एंट्री हि हाँ क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट आउट बॉन्ड पार्टनर and the message type is db debms that is standard receiver port we have copied just now paste it here okay and the basic type is dbms 05 and to select the radio button for transfer ad hoc immediately paper ka warda kono to mitra fine now created data we need to send it on other client so run the transaction bd12 okay here the give the customer number that is we have created 9328 and the give standard output type is debmas dbms and press f8 or click on that execute button <coughs> one master doc set up to the message type debmas it means this data is shared okay now let us just check the status of the data for checking it run the transaction w02 or w05 <coughs> select the date everything and press f8 
okay now status is 03 that means the data is shared but not not it sent it so we need to change it to 03 to 12 for that we need to execute one program rbd mo ind so execute the transaction sa sc 38 and open that program SC38 Give the program name RBDMO IND Press F8 or Direct Execution or Click on Execute button Ok Again execute it ah, Dispatch Data is dispatched now That means data has been sent to the another client Okay, we will check again status of the data. Run the transaction W02. Oh, yeah, got it. Now the status is 12. That means the data has been sent. Now client 800 has sent the data. Now client 810 needs to accept it. So log into the system by client 810. Okay. Uh, now give the client as 810 and provide the username and password login credentials. So we have successfully logged in client number 810. Now first step is maintain the inbound partner profile through transaction number WE20. Thank you WE20. These are the same steps as we did in the outbound partner. Okay. Now select the partner type as logical system and click on create new entry give the partner name that is sender client 800 <coughs> partner type is ls for logical system and after saving it the button will be enabled for uh, creating new entries okay, so clear create new entry in inbound partner message type standard message type is DBMS the process code is DBM save it okay now after saving it we need to check the status of the data we have we have received it or not for that run the transaction number W02 press F8 or click on execute button uh, 53 that means we have successfully accepted the data from the client that is 800 now we will check the data in the KNA1 table run the transaction SC16N give the table name as KNA1 that is customer master table and give the customer number 9328 press F8 <coughs> yeah we successfully got the data previously we don't have the, this data thank you